Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Joshua, and today I am unboxing the Fujiwara FKM 210mm Gyoto from Chef Knives To Go. I just ordered this on Wednesday, and I received it on Friday, so it's super fast shipping. The company is in the US, I'm in Canada, I've been super excited, but I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to make this video. This is my first time ever dealing with Chef Knives To Go, and this is also my first, like, knife purchase ever, other than, like, this department store knife that I have. So I'm super excited. It's a Japanese knife, which I've never used before, other than like borrowing somebody's on the line, but I've never had one of my own. And yeah, I'm so excited, you have no idea. All right, so it's time to bust this open. I got my little Hankel's paring knife. And yeah, let's, uh, let's see what's all in this. Quite nice. It's got like this elastic around it to keep it shut. I assume for uh, safety measures. All right. Moment of truth here. Ooh. Ooh. There's a nice bubble wrap. Bring it into the knife. Some little cards in here, all in Japanese, which I cannot read. I think these are like instructions for sharpening it, I guess. It looks like they're using a stone here. I have no idea. And now, what we've all been waiting for. Beautiful. All right, first impressions. It's beautiful. I really like their stamping on it, their logo. It is so nice. Especially when it's gonna be sitting up on my cutting board. I'll be looking at it. Damn, that's my hat. That's my hat. So the length of the blade is 210 millimeters, which comes to about 8.2 inches, or 8.25 inch. It weighs 5.8 ounces, which is extremely light and easy to control. The overall length of the knife is about 335 millimeters, which is around 13.25 inches from the tip to the end of the handle. Now the handle itself is a black Hackerwood handle. The fit and finish is very nice. I read somewhere that there was, people were having somewhat of a discomfort in this area with ridges and whatnot, but mine is very smooth. The finish is very nice. However, I did also read that compared to the Tojiro handle, which supposedly has a more bulkier handle. Um, this one is a little slim and smaller in my somewhat large hands. Um, not a real complaint, but I do notice it. So if you have somewhat larger hands, that is something to consider when uh, choosing between the Fujiwara and the Tojiro DP. All right, all technical stuff aside now. Let's see how it does on everybody's favorite test, the yeah, Piper test. All right, so I've got some Ikea magazine paper here. Um, I'm gonna give it a fold and we shall see how it does. It's beautiful. All right, as you can see, this knife cut through that paper like nothing. That was, that was so easy. That was the easiest I've ever had it before. It was going through so smooth. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. All right, so I'm now going to test the knife on some produce like tomatoes and onions. And yeah, let's see how the knife performs. All right, so before y'all say anything, yes, I am filming on the windowsill. It is extremely gloomy and rainy and quite dark in my apartment, so this is where I can get the best light. Please don't judge. All right, so we're gonna start with the tomato test. My previous knife could not slice through tomato to save a life. I am hoping this one will do a much better job. So I'm barely applying any pressure right now. I'm just going through the motions and letting the blade do the work. I can, I'm getting like super thin slices, paper thin slices. 
it's 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 fantastic. It's it's beautiful. All right, so I've got half a red onion here that I'm going to julienne. Uh, yeah, we'll see how the knife does. And this would be a lot easier if I had more space. <laughs> like, I did not realize how much space I don't have. One sec, one sec. All right, my board was kind of sliding, so I got some wet paper towel underneath to uh, stop it from moving. All right, back to my julienne. Yeah, this would be so much easier if I had more space. It's going through quite nicely though. Let's move this out of the way. Flip it over. And try again. Yeah, I'm not really getting the full range of motion that would uh, help with my cut because of my limited space. But my cuts are pretty consistent in size. So overall, the knife did pretty well. I did have a little trouble cutting through the onion, but that is because I forgot to remove the core. So pro tip, make sure you remove the core. So other than my limited space, I didn't really have much trouble getting through this stuff with the knife. But would I recommend it? Absolutely. It's a great entry level knife, especially if you're trying to get into Japanese knives with the Western style handle so that you're a little more comfortable with the handle type. I think it retails for about $75 USD on Chef Knives To Go. I'm in Canada, so the knife cost me about $100. Plus, there's a $33 shipping fee. And on top of that, another like $30 for custom fee. So this cost me about 170 Canadian dollars. I was not aware that it was going to cost me that much, so if you are in Canada and you are interested in a knife like this, definitely do your research before you make the purchase. So I would shop around more at Canadian retailers, make sure you're checking the shipping fees and the custom fees and comparing different sites because for $170 you may be able to get a better knife, a higher quality knife, a sharper knife for the same price that I paid for this. I definitely have no regrets. It is a very nice knife. It's beautiful. I love the way it looks, the way it feels. And once I get it on a stone, sharpened, put my own edge on it, I think it'll be great. It is sharp out of the box, as you saw. Uh, it definitely could be sharper. So yeah, if you're interested in getting this knife, I got it from Chef Knives to go. If you're thinking of getting this knife, if you have any questions about this knife, let me know. If you have any tips for me as to how I can make this knife better for myself, better perform for myself, definitely let me know because I would love to know. And yeah, my name's Joshua. Thanks for watching. This is the Fujiwara 210 millimeter stainless steel Gyoto. And uh, hope to see you next time. Another pro tip. Don't swing the knife around like that.